However, due to a limited number of medical centers offering these advanced procedures and the high cost factor, access to intrauterine insemination and in vitro fertilization procedures has proved beyond reach to a majority of the population until today. Under the visionary leadership of our Honorable Health Minister, Sri Vishwajit Rani, our state becomes the first state in the country to acquire a state-of-the-art assisted reproductive technology center, which boasts the best medical expertise and equipment at the Goa Medical College and Hospital, offering in vitro fertilization and allied treatments for free giving new hope to couples and families struggling with infertility in our state. All the flowers of all the tomorrows are in the seeds of today. And where flowers bloom, so does hope. It is our privilege to honor our dignitaries with flowers. I request Dr. Rupa to present a floral bouquet to our Honorable Health Minister, Sri Vishwajit Rani. Samir Maso, eh, Sadiqan. Samir. Samir, Samir. I request Dr. Deepa to present a floral bouquet to Dr. Shivanan Bandekar, Dean, Goa Medical College and Hospital. Sadiq, Dr. Samir Maso. Samir, Sadiq, Dr. Maso. Dr. Dr. Maso. I request photographer, Dr. Photographer. to present a photo to Dr. Kedar Fatte. Photographer. Sadi Ramade, Madhya Ramade, Dr. Kedar Fatte. Dr. Kedar Fatte. Dr. Kedar Fatte. Dr. I request Dr. Akshata to present a floral bouquet to Dr. Muriel Kardoso, Professor and Head, Department of Obstetrics and Gynecology, Goa Medical College and Hospital. I request Dr. Rupa to present a floral bouquet to Dr. Udal Kapurkar, Nodal Officer of Super Specialty Block, Goa Medical College and Hospital. I request Dr. Poonam to present a floral bouquet to Dr. Rajesh Patil, Medical Superintendent, Goa Medical College and Hospital. I now invite Dr. Shivanan Bandikar, Dean of Go Medical College and Hospital, to welcome the gathering. Minister for Health, Sri Vishwaji Dhaneji, uh, our consultant, Dr. Kedar Patte, Dr. Muriel Cardozo, uh, faculty from uh, Obstetrics and Gynecology, the beneficiary couples who are here, Mukhya Sevikas, ladies and gentlemen. Now, Ami Ho program, so the August Akello, Ki Ami Ho ART Center for IVF facilities, so the October, so the August Akami Commission Kello. And Akso Ho Di Sasa, so ek a special day, when you ask Sota, Amchi Honorable Aroke Mantri Hana Ilesa, and he te as J. Kon beneficiary the couples asa, Jenka, you know, her treatment that she gurus asa. Then just swata registration karpa ka zaille asa. Then so itlo busy schedule astana. He has made it a point that the first ten couples to be enrolled for the benefit of this treatment will be done at his hands. This shows his commitment to the people of Goa. Ani as ami mukhya sevika ani the baki chije community workers sa. Tancha through he message sabya loka paran paavapacho prayatna astalo. Ani mununoj yadi sache ek vallle mahatwa asa ki as the poilo patient jo IVF ka astalo ani mullali baki chhi dhaa couples who are for this treatment tancha as registration zatle ani tanka pude my treatment rokda chalu zatlo. So this is what is called as execution of the commissioning of uh, IVF. So this is a great day and on this day I welcome you all for this function to witness how our Honorable Health Minister has done this facility for people of Goa. Thank you. Thank you Dr. Bandikar. Dr. Kedar Fadde is Goa's leading specialty obstetrician and gynecologist 
and pioneer IVF consultant. He is the founder and director of Dr. Kedar's Maternity, Infertility and Surgical Hospital in Panjim and has over 43 years of experience in the field. Dr. Fertke, I invite you to address the gathering. Respected Health Minister Shri Prani, our team, Vishwanand Bandekar, HOD, Dr. Muriel, all the staff of OBGYN Department, Dr. Madhu Mohan, Madam Dr. Veena Velikar, and all of you here, and thank you for the introduction. Well, uh, I'm here with my wife, my partner, and co educator, Dr. Jay Shri. Between the two of us, we have had three angiographies and three stents, and so we share our heart with you. <laughs> our heart is beating because of you, and it is here to deliver your goods to you from the bottom of our heart. And for that, I want to thank you so much. Well, uh, she and I both together will manage the center to the extent that we can. You will understand the need for Dr. Jayashree's intervention only when it comes to the nooks and corners where dust has to be absent for the embryos to grow. This is the first and the only ART center in the government setup, and for that, our sir needs a big applause. I, I would say that this sets a trend for the country, for the different states of India and the government institutions to understand that this is possible in a government institution and that they can take it up. There is enthusiasm, there is knowledge, there is credibility and there are funds and there are people like our health minister who can do it. And so I am very grateful to you for doing that. Enthusiastic Dean Sir who is always behind any progress that happens in life and I am sure and I pray to him that he gets the robotics that he wishes to to take his department to a higher level. Earlier also we have tried many things, but Dr. Muriel has been really uh, the lion's share in this, and she's going to drive the department. So all of you to be prepared to be uh, uh, the driving force that she has. She's just out of a major surgery, and she's sitting here two, two weeks later, and she deserves a big hand. <laughs> Believe me, you, most of you would have been taking off for eight weeks after that. So thank you, Muriel, for being here. All of you, I just want to tell you two things. Remember that every failure that you come across is actually a stepping stone towards success. IUI has a success rate of only 15% and IVF has a success rate of 30%. In the best of institutions, IVF has a success rate of only 40% with a take-home baby rate of 25 to 30%. Anyone who is telling you that they have greater success rates are telling lies. Does that mean we should be on a back foot? No. Every failure should drive us to go to the next step and those 30 people who get babies out of those 100 is worth not 3 crores, 30 crores or 30 million. It is a lifetime and therefore the passion should remain with us that we will work, work hard and make sure that our success rates go up. We will use this for academic purposes also. This department will now become the ace department for all PGs to take up. Earlier, you know, Ghana department in OGYN was not being taken up by the PGs very easily. Remind you, next year, the toppers of the country will want to come here. And with the help of Dr. Ajit Nagar Sekhar and Dr. Uddhav is here to help you out with a laparoscopic surgery unit, the department should be the topper. I want to conclude with saying one thing. When we started treating infertile patient, infertility was 5%. Now it has gone to 25 to 30%. When we started, it was the lady who was to be blamed. And we thought that out of 100 patients who had infertility, only 10% was with the male and 90% of the female. Today, it is 50-50. And so who is the king of the rest? It's Dr. Madhu Mohan Prabhu He is going to provide you with the sperm samples. And if his andrology works, it will give you a great success. So make sure that he is a huge part of your department. And if that doesn't happen, then there will be a big lapse because 50% of the infertile people who will come to you will be male factors. And I request you to be making sure that they are there. Lastly, we will give you everything free of cost. You have to give us only one promise. We will get uninterrupted power supply. If there is a drop in the power supply for eight minutes, the incubators will fall and the embryos inside will die. It's like losing a baby inside. So that is all we need. Thank you so much for having me here and for this honor. Leader is one who knows the way. 
goes the way and shows the way. These words hold true for our Honorable Health Minister Sri Vishwajit Rani. It is his exemplary leadership that continues to translate his vision into reality, revolutionizing healthcare in Goa. He has spearheaded numerous healthcare initiatives that prioritize the well being of Goans. This include the creation of the Diabetes Registry, the collaboration with the Tata Memorial Center Mumbai for Cancer Treatment, and the launch of the Swast Mahila Swast Goa program, which has successfully completed breast cancer screening for over 1 lakh women. He is the pioneering force behind Goa being the first state to offer free assisted reproductive treatment to the couples who require it. The list of his contributions, as you all know, is extensive. And we, the people of Goa, are blessed and grateful, sir, for your leadership. It is my privilege to invite Honorable Minister for Health, Sri Vishwajit Rani, to address the couples in the state who will avail of the advanced treatment modalities at the Assisted Reproductive Technology Center at Goa Medical College and Hospital. Dean Goa Medical College, Dr. Bandekar, the main person who has helped us actually conceptualize and take this forward and why we are all here today. Dr. Kedar, Dr. Muriel, who both came together and decided that this is something that we need in the state of Goa and that's the best way forward. I would forward. Before going ahead, I would like to acknowledge the presence of Dr. Jayashree Fatte, who Dr. I just mentioned. Both the hearts are one, but uh, I, the way you described it was really interesting. But uh, yes, uh, Madam, your presence here, our me medical superintendents, Dr. Uday Kakurkar, Dr. Rajesh Patil, Dr. Madhu, and Dr. Ajit Tagar and all the other doctors, nurses, and the backup staff, and all the couples who are here today, who have come for registration. Today is a great moment for me because this thing started just through a thought process. And we, in the state of Goa, I would like all our brothers from the media and uh, sisters from the media are here. All of us thought, discussed, and one thing we have learned from the Honorable Prime Minister is that if there is a will, there is a way. You have to have a vision, and that vision has to be implemented. There is no point having a conversation and having con constant conversations and talks and trying to promise something which you are unable to deliver. Today I stand in front of all of you with the support of people who have tremendous amount of credibility in the state of Goa and the area of healthcare. I am very grateful to Dr. Kedar and Dr. Muriel for coming together and suggesting this to me and that's the day when we took a decision that within 2-3 months, months that we will make sure that this thing happens and this center of assisted reproductive uh, free treatment that we are going to give this IVF center that we have now today we are commissioning and we are going to start the first registration of the few couples. There are several inquiries what I was told. A lot of people not only from here but from the peripheral other states also want to come and take this treatment. Our job is to see that to we are able to not only replicate uh, the success story what Dr. Kedar has but we would like this to be, I was just say, sharing with Dr. Kedar. Is that we want to make this, there will be no compromise as far as the funding is concerned, whether it is funding from the government, but this is a center that has been put up by total CSR backup. This will be a total CSR driven center. There will be no shortfall. We want to make this center one of the top notch centers in the country and whatever financial assistance you want that will be given to you and we will see that this becomes a success story that is talked about all over the country. Today, I would like to make a mention to all of you. Many times in the area of healthcare, everybody talks of this so-called model called the Delhi model. I am saying this is a Goa model. And in the Goa model, we are trying to reach out to the people of the state, trying to provide services to the people and to the citizens to bring a smile on their face. I always say, and I said it last time also, whether it is a boy or a girl, no, it is the happiness that it brings in every house that has to be our objective and that is what we want to do. Whether it's a girl child or a boy child, both are competent in today's world. Both of them are capable of giving you the same joy and both are competent of doing well in life and that's how I feel that we need to have that type of a vision and move forward. Delhi model is a model that is only a hype model. Here in Goa, under the leadership of the Prime Minister and his vision and his thought process, 
we have been trying to do so much for the people and for the citizens. Goa is the only state. Globally also, Goa is the only state where IVF treatment is being given free of charge to the patients. Nowhere else in the country, no private hospital, no government hospital, nowhere this treatment is being given. And we want to see that the success rate of the center is going to be one of the highest. And we will ensure that whatever backup Dr. Muriel and Dr. Kedar want, we will make sure that we give those type of facilities and take this center to a different level. We want the success sto stories of this center coming out and for that whatever it takes from us to see that whatever you need, whatever setup you need, the staff that has been dedicated for this center will not be transferable. We will try to ensure that we go on upgrading their knowledge and we will ensure that they get more and more exposure. We will also ensure that they get that type of exposure that they become an asset to this wing and this center and this is how we want to move forward. It's very easy many times, you know, to conceptualize something. If doctor comes and meets me, we say, yes, we'll do it. But today it is not only, we have not only discussed, we have also put it in action. It is here today, uh, IVF center. We have also, doctor suggested certain things he requires. I have said that whatever the funding that is required will be made available and we will make sure that this becomes a state of art hospital. Many times, you know, a lot of things are given to us as we come to any function. And lots needs to be said, lots of pointers are given to us that what we should be speaking. But I generally don't read them. I don't read them because I'm, a, I'm, I'm totally involved with the team. Advice from Dr. Kedar, Dr. Badekar, Dr. Muriel and the other doctors who are here amongst us. Trying to understand and also from the younger doctors trying to understand is what is our objective. Today, you also, after working in a center like this, will get that type of exposure you require when you go out of the center and work anywhere else also in the country or go out of the country. But here, we are at a stage and I would like to replicate, I don't want to replicate any model. I want to create Goa's own model. Today, what we do in Goa, our total, total focus today is interacting after this function with the, the couples that are come to register. I also understand there is a tremendous amount of confidentiality that has to be maintained. And also in addition to that, we have deliberately called our Mukya Sevikas to pass on the message across the state of Goa as to what are the facilities that are there in Goa Medical College today. Today it's the Prime Minister, the different verticals through which we get money for the healthcare. It is Narendra Modi ji and his philosophy, his vision, which gives us more power, more encourages us and inspires us to see that we are on the delivery mode. And if we are on the delivery mode, then we will be able to provide more and more services to the people. I am very fortunate and happy to have been the health minister of the state for the last 12 years. It's a long tenure, but during this tenure, somewhere you get a sense of satisfaction that you have been able to do A, you have been able to do B. You have been able to provide relief to the common man. You have been able to provide best quality care, best practices. And today, we are also proud. Dean was with me. I will share at some other occasion as to what level we want to take health care. We are going to ensure the media is here, people are here, doctors are here that in the next six to eight months, you will see what is the transformation that is taking place in the area of health. We are not dependent on somebody telling us what we should do, but we are dependent on what needs to be done and advice on how we are able to save people's lives, how we are able to provide the best quality care to the people, how we are able to up our game in terms of saving lives and also giving the best quality different types of treatment. We have another department which is there, the department of robotic surgery which we want to do in the Goa Medical College which was our vision. Today, sitting, standing here in front of you, I would like to tell all the couples who have come here with a lot of hope that you will go home smiling. You have the best of people here who are here to take care of you. Dr. Kedar, Dr. Muriel, and you know, I have something in my mind, I have something in my mind that comes from the inspiration of our leader, the Prime Minister of the country, is to see that we work differently. And let me tell you something, the hype that was created through media, not without any saying the media, but through the media, they are saying that the Delhi model, Delhi, there is no Delhi model. The Delhi model is not a model that you need to be replicating. We are talking about a Goa model that will be replicating all over the country and that is how we want to move forward. We are here delivering. We are here making things that were never accessible to somebody. People used to give up the hope that they want to have a child because they couldn't afford that type of treatment and that the cost of treatment was too high. Today, 
we have made that accessible and made that free of charge so that you can have that wish of having a child in your house has become a reality through the state government, government of Goa and the vision of the Prime Minister to take it forward. I am happy and I would like to assure you that whatever we do, we are going to do it with all our heart. We are going to ensure that this doesn't run like a normal government hospital that should be running. These wings are going to be independent. These facilities are going to be independent. The staff is going to be dedicated. And this is how we want to take it forward. Goa model will be a model that is talked about all over the country. I am confident not only in the country but in different parts of the world of what we are actually doing. Concentration of research and also we need to move ahead in that direction. But I am confident all of you, all doctors who are going to be a part of this centre under Dr. Muriel and Dr. Kedar. And we want to bring our own doctors who have been successful in the state and get them on board with Goa Medical College. We want to create this centre at a level where even Dr. Kedar can say that I want to utilise more facilities of Goa Medical College and that is the level at which we are talking and we are very happy that we have associated with Dr. Kedar, Dr. Muriel, both of them will make this a success story and I am looking forward to hearing the success story. I actually said we will interact with the, though the confidentiality part they will interact with the couples, give them the confidence that the state means business and the state wants to see that we are able to bring a smile on the faces of these couples who have come to this centre and are registering themselves at this centre with a lot of hope that they ultimately go home and they have this little baby that is a bundle of joy that gives them happiness. That is why we are all standing in front of you today. I would like to congratulate the team. I would like to congratulate the dean also. It's a, it's a, it's a united effort. To, it's a, it, it is not easy when you want to do something at this level. But I am grateful to Dr. Kedar, Dr. Muriel, the dean and the whole team for helping us put this uh, facility together. Like I said to the media, Goa model, wait for six months. Goa model will be the model that is talked about. There is no Delhi model. Delhi model is a model only which is hype model. It's a model that has not delivered on the lines of which the government of Goa has been delivering. Goa model is something that will be spoken about. Goa model is going to be a success story, not only here at the IVF center, but at the PHC level, CHC level. Yes, a lot of functional issues are there, but we will overcome all this and try to see that we provide the best of services across the state of Goa. The Goa model is something that we look forward to work with. You will see, I will give you a detailed presentation at some point of time during this course of the six months that where we were, where we are heading and there are a lot of people who want to handhold us and take us forward. I would like to thank each one of you for coming here today and thank all of you for having put this together. We as ministers sometimes can bring and think about a policy, bring it together but it is experts like you who can help us and handhold us as a government and take things forward. Money is available. Ultimately, you need a heart to donate, you need a heart to give and I am grateful. The CSR, whatever needs to be given, we have been able to get the CSR. Ultimately, it's not about a name. It's not about whose name has to be there, who donated the money. It is the wish you had to bring a smile on the face of the couple. That is more important and success story of the IVF center in the hospital is more important. And that's going to be our thrust and that is the way we are going to move forward. I would like to thank the media for especially coming here today and all our doctors, teams, the couples who have come here for registration, our Mukhya Sevikas who are here to pass on this message across the state that we have a Goa model in place. This model needs to be replicated in other parts of the country. There, If there is a will, there is a way. All you need is the love for your people of the state in order to move forward and try to see that you provide the best care to the people Things that were never accessible, today are accessible. This is all what we want to do. What is not accessible to the poor man or a middle class family, make it accessible. And make it accessible free of charge. This is the first. A lot of people ask me. I got calls from Delhi also to find out how is this running. This is totally CSR driven. It is totally driven. Our expertise, doctors like you, Dr. Kedar, Dr. Muriel are on board. Dr. Ajit is here. Dr. Madhu is here. Several other doctors who are here. Dr. Jayashi is here. This is how we want to move forward. This will be the vision of the government and this is what I want to spell out to all the media that when you talk to the people of the state of Goa, tell them we care about them. Tell the people of the state that we are doing whatever we can to see that we save their lives, whether it is through cardiac, through the IVF center to bring a smile on every, in every house. But our job is to see that we deliver and this department is going to deliver at a different level and you will be proud as members of the media 
which are very important to spread the message that the state government should now in the country there is a new thing called the goa model and the goa model is something totally different from the delhi model delhi model is only a media model ours is a real model that is providing care to the people of the state of goa thank you so much thank you sir i request dr muriel cardoso professor and head department of obstetrics and gynecology goa medical college and hospital to propose the vote of thanks dr rajesh patel SSP Nodal Officer Dr. Uday Kakutkar, Dr. Kedar and his exceptional team, our established faculty, my residents, staff, students, ladies and gentlemen. It's with immense joy and gratitude that I stand before you once again on behalf of the ART Center to extend heartfelt appreciation to all those whose unwavering dedication has brought us to this day. First and foremost, a resounding salute to our esteemed health minister who has not only overseen the establishment of the center but he himself has set the wheels in motion by initiating ART enrollment this very morning a big round of applause his far sighted leadership personal involvement csr contributions and unwavering commitment have echoed throughout this venture but always with a smile and your foresight in providing us with this exclusive which reverberates with benefits not only for us it itself is a holistic wellness center